This episode is sponsored by Nate Sanitation because your garbage powers someone's world. You have chosen the zone. The Curtis Zone, that is. I am your humble and handsome host, Dylan J. Curtis, everyone. And I hope everyone is excited as I am for Jason David Frank's upcoming film known as Legend of the White Dragon. Yes, this is true. Jason David Frank has returned to the world of acting to play the White Dragon. And it stars a lot of former actors who have all been in past Power Ranger shows. He himself has, has invested a lot of money and time into this film. And he has also done an appearance to promote his film at Creative Con, and I cannot believe that it's I missed about it. that, but because today is all about the fourth and final season of Digimon Digital Monsters, known as Digimon Frontier. So I cannot believe that I missed it. Yes, this is true. This is the last season of Digimon that we'll be doing a history of episode on, due to the fact that I cannot find Digimon Data Squad or Digimon Fusion online at all. I also cannot buy them off eBay because they're no longer available. But hey, we will do our best to give you guys a good history of episode on this one. And remember to hit that like and subscribe button, and we will give you more content in the future. Now, for now, let's get into today's episode, shall we? And remember to show some love to today's sponsors, Nate Sanitation, because your garbage powers someone's world. Digimon Frontier will make its television debut April 7th of 2002 and have its final episode in March of 2003. And yes, it was on my birthday. Now, Digimon. Frontier was, was supposed to be the true third season of Digimon, but due to licensing issues and protests in Japan, Digimon Season 3, known as Digimon Tamers, made its television debut in America and not Digimon Frontier. That's enough with the non-fiction origin. Let's get into the fictional origin, shall we? Thousands of years ago, human Digimon and beast-type Digimon were at war. The war became so bad that it almost destroyed the planet itself. This is when Lusamon, aka the angel Digimon himself, came into the digital world to restore order. However, he gained too much power and the 10 legendary warriors destroyed him, locking him in an abyss. This is when Cherubimon, Ophanimon, and Seraphimon took over the digital world. However, things would not be so happy forever. Cherubimon, like history repeating itself, went crazy with power and caused all of the beast type Digimon to revolt against Ophanimon and Seraphimon. In the process, he destroyed Seraphimon. Well, not necessarily destroyed, he basically weakened him enough to where he would be, have to be locked in a hyperlock chamber. This leads us to the first episode where we meet Takuya Kambare. You see, Ophanimon had sent a message into the human world for the five special children to wield the five legendary warrior spirits, the five that Cherubimon did not get. This is true, Cherubimon got five of the ten legendary warrior spirits and he used them to create his own versions of evil Digimon legendary warriors. Throughout the first few episodes, Takuya and all the Digidestin get their legendary warrior spirits, the spirits of fire, light, wind, thunder, ice, and darkness. It's a very fun season, guys. And get this, they can actually turn into the Digimon. But I do that, let's talk about my top five favorite episodes and or moments. My favorite episode is Welcome to My Nightmare. In this episode, the Digidestin have made camp for the evening in the digital world. However, a little Digimon going by the name of something that I'm not gonna spoil. Anyway, this Digimon gives Tommy a nightmare where he has turned against all of his friends and he thinks that they are bullying him. And so it took the Digidestin to work together in order to not only stop this Digimon, but to free Tommy from his little nightmare. It's a very cool episode, guys. I loved every second of it. My number four favorite episode is called Home Again, Takuya Returns. Takuya returns home, but he's turned into a mutated version of both of his Digivolutions called Flame Mon, and he has returned to the very moment when he left it for the digital world. And he has to overcome his fears of Dusk Mon, while at the same time trying to get his way back and set everything on the right path. It's a pretty cool episode, very emotional, very touching. I loved it, guys. My third favorite moment is the return of Patamon. Everyone knows that Patamon is the most adorable Digimon in all of the Digimon history. All right? And when he returned for the fourth season, it was pretty cool, okay? Because Patamon was in Seraphimon's egg. Seraphimon, as you know, is one of the three celestial Digimon and one of Patamon's past Digivolutions in season two of Digimon. 
And when he gave his power to, to Kuya and Koji so they could fusion evolve, it was pretty cool. And Patamon's adorable return sparked a new wave for the digi -Dex. My second favorite episode is called The Twins Shall Meet, okay? In this episode, we just find out that Koji's brother Koichi is Duskmon and Koji has just digitized his fractal code from Duskmon into his Digivice. But in this episode, Cherubimon wants him back and so the Digi Destin work together to battle against him. However, it's not enough. And so the spirit of darkness, Duskmon, following Duskmon is now Loamon and, Ye and the beast spirit Jaeger Loamon. And he uses that to defeat a copy of Cherubimon, not the full thing, not the real thing, okay? Not the real thing. I have two picks for my number one favorite moment in Digimon, and it's called Takuya and Koji Evolution in Shirubi Mania. In this episode, Ofanimon sacrificed herself to the power of Chirubimon, but in the process, she also upgraded Takuya and Koji's detectors so that they could form a unity evolution to form Emperor Greymon and Magna Garurumon. Now with all that said and done, let me tell you about what happened in the final episode before we move into powers and abilities. In the final episode, Lusamon plans to go into the real world to wreak as much chaos as possible. He is digivolved into his final full form. However, the Digi Destin have formed a unified spirit evolution to form a new Digimon known as Susanomon. And with the power of Susanomon's Celestial Blade, they are able to destroy Lusamon. However, they have to return home though. It's a very fun episode, so adorable, and the ending was amazing, guys. And now let's move into powers and abilities, ladies and gentlemen. The Digidestin have the ability to transform into Digimon, which means that they have the ability of the Digimon that they have transformed into. They also have the ability to control five or six of the 10 elements that make up the universe. There's fire, wind, thunder, ice, darkness and light. There is the human spirit and then there is the beast spirit of the Digivolution. And, but however, like always, they have to work together no matter what. The more they work together, the more powerful that they are. And now another episode of The Curtis Zone has come to a screeching close. But remember to hit the like and subscribe button. And if you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, or if you want to make a request for history of episodes, leave it in the comment section located that way. And remember to like and subscribe, because once you do, I get paid for it, all right? And I love some extra money, all right? So